What's up fellow crypto lovers? Today we are going to review some crypto jargon. Airdrops are when crypto holders are gifted additional crypto. Who doesn't love free stuff? An altcoin is any other crypto except for the original which is Bitcoin. A blockchain is a system where transaction records done with crypto are maintained across multiple computers and linked in a network. Cryptocurrency is a digital asset that is recorded on a blockchain or public ledger. A DAG is a distributed acyclic graph, more complex and advanced form of blockchain that turns every user into a node. A DAP is short for Decentralized App. It's a computer program that runs on a blockchain and leaves an unchangeable record. Decentralized is a network that is not controlled by a single entity. DeFi is short for Decentralized Finance that is performed on a decentralized blockchain performing bank-like functions. An exchange is a place where digital currencies can be bought, sold, or traded. For example, if someone wanted to trade, their Dogecoin for the Binance token. Fiat is government issued paper money. FOMO is fear of missing out, the greed that sometimes drives people to buy. Fork is a blockchain that breaks off from another blockchain. FUD stands for fear, uncertainty, and doubt, usually during a bear market. A hardwire wallet is a physical device resembling a USB stick that is designed to store crypto. HODL, hold on for dear life. And HODLER is a pay person who holds on for dear life. Did you hear about the man recently who drifted in the ocean for over 20 hours? Now that's a HODLER. It also refers to buying and holding crypto and not selling. ICO, initial coin offering, just like an IPO for stocks. KYC, short for Know Your Customer. Banks and financial institutions are required to KYC to prevent money laundering. Most crypto exchanges now require this as well, so it's decreasing the anonymous nature of crypto. Liquidity pool, not a swimming pool. We have enough of those here in California. It's a pool of funds available for trading, helping to convert one crypto to another. For example, if PancakeSwap has an LP pool of Dogecoin and Binance token, it allows traders to easily trade between those two cryptocurrencies. A meme coin is a cryptocurrency that starts off as a joke and doesn't have a real underlying purpose. Mining is using your computer in a blockchain uh, network being rewarded with cryptocurrency. NFTs are digital assets with an authentic certificate created by blockchain technology. Examples are digital art or digital land. A node is a computer that is hooked up to a blockchain network. A private key is a code which gives control over a crypto wallet. Proof of stake is a system where computers work together to decide which computer node validates the next block. It's much less energy intensive than proof of work. Proof of work is a decentralized mechanism where members of a network compete solving a mathematical puzzle to validate transactions and mine new tokens. Pump and dump is when a group of individuals buy a large amount of crypto to artificially increase the price, then quickly sell the crypto at a profit. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts whose code is part of a decentralized blockchain network which can automatically fulfill the role of the contract. For example, allowing two traders to trade crypto if certain conditions are met. Stable coins are cryptocurrencies whose value is pegged to something else. For example, the US dollar. For example, US tether. Token. So crypto coins have their own blockchain. Crypto tokens are created on existing blockchain. For example, Ethereum has its own blockchain, thus it's a coin. The Binance token and Shiba Inu token run on the Ethereum blockchain, thus they're crypto tokens. Wells are investors who own so much crypto that when they sell crypto, 
it could significantly affect the price of crypto and when they buy it can shoot up as well. White paper is a written overview of a project. This is Dr. Kidwell.